Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the different forms of Linux and probably the best one for you guys to use. So uh, we're going to get started. I'm going to go through all the different versions, main versions, uh, some that maybe aren't so main, but uh, probably the biggest one that most people know about is Ubuntu. Uh, this is the website right here. You can get to it at ubuntu.com, or and it'll also be in the description. Uh, 11.04 just 11.04 just came out the other day. Uh, I, I guess it was about a week ago, maybe two weeks, maybe three, for all I know. Uh, it, this one, Ubuntu, is what I will be showing you how to download and install in a little bit. But um, so yeah, that's Ubuntu. Uh, you can view some different. I think, I think you can view. Uh, here, we'll just go to the what's new. Uh, one of the things that's new, you can watch this video if you want, but one of the things that's new is this sidebar over here. That was never there before. It used to be everything was up top, but now it's not. It used to look like a Mac where everything was up top. Now it's just kind of like a little sidebar, which is really, really nice, and it makes everything a lot easier to use. You can put every whatever you want over there, so that makes it a little nicer. Uh, you can add whatever you want into there as an app, and you also have workstations or workspaces. Uh, where you can have like different desktops running at the same at the same time simultaneously, so that that's I would have to say a very big plus uh, that allows just everything to work a lot better. Uh, then you can kind of sort out schoolwork from gaming and stuff like that. The next one I'm going to talk about is I'm going to jump around here. I'm going to drag this over here. Is Mint. Uh, Linux Mint is another form of a Linux operating system. It's open source. Anybody can use it. Uh, the only difference between this one and Ubuntu, which I just showed you, is M Linux Mint. It, it looks a little bit different, but 11.04 has not come out yet. Uh, right now, it's just 11 release candidate, uh, which means it's right before the release stages where it's 11.04, where it's the actual release. Um, so there probably still are a few bugs that they haven't worked out yet, but that'll be worked out soon. Uh, the next one is Kubuntu. Uh, Kubuntu is, I guess, a little bit more of um, music-type stuff. It's a little nicer. It looks more like a water-type look. It's very, very blue. Ubuntu that doesn't really have its own color. You can change it so you want it to look like whatever you want. Linux Mint kind of looks a bit greenish. Kubuntu is very blue, uh, which I like personally. Blue is my favorite color. As you can tell from my channel, it's blue. Um, but yes, Kubuntu is very nice. I don't use it as much. It's nice to have. It's good for music and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so other than that, if unless you're doing a lot of music and video and stuff like that, a lot of media, I would not recommend Kubuntu. But, uh, so yeah, let's move on to the next one. Mythbuntu is kind of like a TV video type stuff. More of it, mainly entertainment. Uh, you can do almost anything with this. Uh, it's, it's very, very nice. It's mainly like video and, uh, yeah, mainly video integrated. I was going to say video and movie, but those are the same thing. Uh, video integrated, uh, there's very good, there's a PVR system in it, uh, which is your recording system and and uh, stuff like that. So it's very, very nice. Uh, it's really easy to use. It's really good if you want to attach it or if you want to put it on like a server of some sort and put it and attach it to your TV, maybe if you have Fios or Comcast or something like that. It's really great for that. Uh, but if you do get Mythbuntu, then you can also get uh, Myth TV, which is an open source DVR, which allows you to record everything to your computer and then play it back where Oops, sorry, voice crack, and play it back wherever you are around the world. Um, so, yeah, it's very, very nice. I love it. Uh, I use it for my one TV, and it's very reliable. I haven't had any trouble with it yet, which is super nice. And the last one I'm going to show you guys today is Xbuntu, or Zubuntu. I don't know how it's pronounced. I don't know if it's Zeon like or if it's uh, Xubuntu or Zubuntu. I, I don't know. Um, this one... I've never actually used. I know it exists, but 
I've never used it, like I said. Um, it looks very bland. It looks like the original Ubuntu. It has icons. It has everything up along the top. It doesn't have any sidebar or anything, or at least that's what it appears. Appears. Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, Zubuntu is a community-developed Linux-based operating system that is perfect for laptops, desktops, and servers. It contains all the applications you need, a web browser, document, and spreadsheet editing software, uh, instant messaging, and much more. Uh, one nice thing about all Linux software is up here in your right-hand corner, you have the uh, mail and chat clients built in already. Uh, it comes with Firefox and Chrome, I believe, and GIMP and a few other programs. Uh, it's all in the operating system, which is really nice when it comes to not having to download it all. And actually, I just saw one more, uh, Edge Ubuntu or Edu Ubuntu. Uh, this one is made more for school and younger kids. Uh, it allows you to integrate your own programs into it and then run it. It looks more like a little kid environment type. Oh, my goodness, I can't stop voice cracking. Um, but, yeah, it, it's nice. I've used it before. It's really great for little kids if they're just learning how to use computers. Uh, let's see what this one is. Uh, that's Ubuntu Studio. That's great for if you do a lot of uh, video editing and graphic design and stuff like that. Uh, I've never used this, but I may actually make a video on it in the future reviewing exactly what it is. So I might have to remember that. But uh, actually, I might leave that open. So I will have all these pages linked in the bottom. Uh, there's Ubuntu, Mint, Kubuntu, Mythbuntu, MythTV, Xbuntu, Ubuntu, and Ubuntu Studio uh, will all be in the description down below. That's one, two, four, six, eight. Yes, I'm amazing at counting. Uh, just because this sounds cool, I'm going to look at the screenshots of Ubuntu Studio. Uh, let's see. This is looking very, very nice. Uh, it's got a nice little login screen. I'm very, very pleased with this so far. Let's see what the icons look like. Yeah, this looks like a very, uh, mo a bit more in-depth type thing. It looks ma like it's not, a, like, there's more uh, CMD. If you know what that means, it's a command prompt in Windows. It's not actually CMD in Linux. It's command, I think it's command window or command line or something like that. I really don't remember. I haven't used Linux in a while. But, uh, yeah, it looks kind of like that. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be a little bit more uh, labor-intensive and a little bit more knowing what you're doing. And actually, it looks like it has... Uh, this is GIMP. It looks like it's integrated that it, it's supposed to be there. I gave... Yeah, I might get this, and I will make a review on this, no doubt. Uh, there is no doubt on that at all. Um, so, yeah... I'm going to move on to uh, getting Ubuntu, and I'm going to download that. I may speed it up a little bit so it's not taking billions of hours. But uh, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to try it from a CD or USB. Okay, I'm going to download and install it. Uh, what you're going to do, you're going to go here, and I have a 64-bit. I recommend 64-bit if your processor will allow 64-bit. Uh, but if it doesn't, don't use it. Uh, and you can just press start download, and you will notice it downloads an ISO, and I will show you what an ISO is in a little bit. But what you're going to do is you're going to click download, and you're going to see it's downloading. Uh, it says downloading Ubuntu 11.04 Desktop AMD 64. That means an AMD graphics, or I'm sorry, not graphics, AMD processor on a 64-bit. Uh, so... 64-bit is your best bet if you have the choice. 64-bit uh, allows you to uh, use more RAM that you have right now. I will actually show you guys what the difference is. If you go to Start and you right-click on Computer and you click Properties, you will see this window pop up. It says I have 6 gigabytes uh, of in installed memory. I'm using 5.75 gigabytes. Um, the reason it's not using all of it is because some of it is allocated to Windows and your programs are not allowed to use it. But with 32-bit, I would probably say it probably would only allow you to use 4.25 gigs. So that's a huge jump. Uh, that's over. That's around a gig and a half. So that is definitely a big thing. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to cut here and I'll be back once this finishes downloading. Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, sorry. 
that probably took a while. Well, not in your time, but my time, it took 25 minutes. Um, so the download is finished, and it's sitting on the wrong screen. Download is finished, as you can see. It's right here. Download is finished. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize this. Oop, Minecraft. Uh, and drag this out on my desktop. Now what you can do, or what I'm going to do, is you're going to need, I believe, a DVD. I'm not sure if it'll fit on a CD. If it's a multi-layered CD, it might. I don't remember. Uh, so I have a DVD in. DVD in. So you're just going to left-click. If you have 7-Zip, you're going to have to right-click on it. Go down to Send To. Uh, wait, nope. Open With. And then Windows Disk Image Burner. You're going to click on that. You're going to make sure your DVD drive is selected. DVD or CD drive is selected. And then you're just going to press Verify After Burning to make sure it actually did what it was supposed to do. And you're going to press Burn. So I'm going to wait for this to finish, and I'll be right back. Okay, right, guys, welcome back. Uh, the image has just been finished burning. And uh, so now I have my c DVD with uh, Ubuntu on it. So within the next 24 hours, I'll be making another video of Ubuntu, recording through Ubuntu. Uh, and I hope you guys check that out. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments section. And uh, I thank you guys very much for watching. Thanks. Bye.